Hey guys, welcome to the Super Coach Show. I'm Super Coach Michael Burt. Every week we come into your life to multiply your life, your money, and your business exclusively right here on the Whatever It Takes Network. You can follow me at Michael Burt on Twitter. Search Coach Michael Burt. And if you want to follow me out there, go to CoachBurt.com. You can listen to us every week on Stitcher Radio. Also, iTunes, Podcast, Republic on Android. And every week we come to your life because we believe everybody needs a good coach in life. A good coach will do three things for you guys. They'll make you have conversations you don't want to have. They'll make you do some things you don't want to do, but they'll help you become something you didn't think you could become. Today's topic that we're diving headfirst into, tweet me your questions at Michael Burt, is what's the one thing, the absolute one thing that you believe you could dominate in the world? And everybody's got one thing. But here's the big problem. And and here's a subtext to the title. If you were given a TED Talk, if you were called to give a TED Talk and you only had 18 minutes to share with the audience the one thing that you were an expert in, what would that one thing be? So if you ask me today what the show's about, it's about clarity. It is about clarity and confidence of finding something that you are the pure expert in that you can go on a stage and say there's nobody in the world that knows this one subject better than anybody else. See, I believe we live in a world of confusion with thousands, if not millions of options. It's hard for us to hone in on just one thing, one talent, one impact, one focus, one calling, right? But for lots of people, this is precisely what they need to be doing, okay? With an abundance of options, many people get caught being a jack of all trades and a master of none. You can't imagine how many people come to me and say they are trying to find their talents, their contribution, their impact, because they can't figure out how to take what's up here in their mind and take it and distribute it to the world, either for money or for nonprofit or whatever the case may be, right? The problem, they got too many interests. And I dare say they got too many passions. They got too many curiosities. And sometimes they got too many talents. And so what's happening, But because of this, they're commoditizing themselves. They're getting paralyzed and they can't even pick a lane, as my good buddy Joe Calloway says. And sometimes, to start especially something, you have got to pick a lane. You know, when I was doing preparation for this show, I was flying back from Greenville, North Carolina last night and had to go to Chicago and then back to Tennessee. And I was drawing all this up today. And I asked this question, maybe we need to pick a lane. Even in my own business, Michael Bird Enterprises, we help kids through our school of greatness. We help entrepreneurs through our monster producer coaching program and person of interest. We help managers through our good coach, bad coach. And we help hungry individuals and teams through our corporate membership. We actually have four things we focus on every day. So maybe I need to pick a lane because if I ask myself this own question, this particular question, what would you, Coach Burt, give an 18-minute talk about? The one thing that you're an expert in. Man, I got lots of interest. I got a diversified portfolio. We help all kinds of clients. But is it hard to go deep? I mean deep when you don't know your one thing. This topic came to me last week when I was counseling a young man in our corporate membership model who came to me who is on fire. That's passion, right? He's on fire, okay? He's on fire with wonder. He's on fire with curiosity. He's on fire with learning. He knows he has something valuable to offer the world. He just can't quite put his finger on what that one thing is, on how the masses would want his product. In essence, why would somebody pay him? So when people call my company, when people call my company and they say, here's what we'd like to do, here's the question I ask. What's the one thing that you can do that nobody else can do? And why do you believe you can do it? What's the one thing that I would take money out of my pocket and pay you for that I can't do? You hear me constantly saying this, money only changes hands when problems are solved. Money only changes hands when problems are solved. 
Does this sound like you? Are you out there today watching me on Whatever It Takes Network? You're trying to figure out what your one thing is? This sounds like a lot of people I coach. So here's the big question I want to ask you. If you were hired to give a TED Talk, TED Technology Education Design, this is where specialists are able to go on a national stage and potentially millions of people watch their videos because they are the expert in one thing. If you were given a talk on one thing for 18 minutes, what would that TED Talk be? You see, that's the million-dollar question I asked this young man after I heard him ramble on for a few minutes about this and this and have monkey mind. He was over here, and he was over here, and I finally said, look, man, if you were given a TED Talk and you only had 18 minutes, tell me the one big problem you solve. You see, through TED, people like Simon Sinek have become incredibly popular through this delivery mechanism where experts and presenters get to give their views, and millions of people do. If you watch one of the TED Talks, Simon Sinek, start with why. He said, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. People don't care about what you do, but they care about why you do it. That one TED Talk made Simon Sinek a national phenomenon. Helped him sell a lot of books and get a lot of followers. So today's show is about this. What about you? The person that's out there listening and watching this show, have you narrowed your focus down to the one area of expertise that you have? The one area that you, my friend, can dominate. The one place where your talents intersect with your passions to meet a need in the world that if I ask you to come speak on a TED stage and you only had 18 minutes, what would that one thing be? When we come back in segment number two, I'm going to get into some big questions, some monster questions for you so that I can help you today find that one thing that you can dominate. You're watching a Super Coach Show, and I'm Coach Michael Bird. Hey guys, Coach Michael Bird here. I believe everybody needs a coach in life, and that's why I'm inviting you to join me in the Big Apple, baby. The monster city on the planet, New York City, April 17th and 18th. Spend two days in an immersion-type experience with me at my Monster Producer Summit. I'm going to teach you the seven frameworks of a monster producer. I'm going to teach you how to take monster action, a monster explanation of services, monster selling system, how to get monster attention, how to keep your monster swag, and ultimately how to build a monster enterprise. For $499, join me at the Sheraton New York City Times Square for two days, eight hours. Spend some personal time with Coach. If you're serious about being a legendary creature this year that dominates every field by combining multiple skill sets, go to CoachBert.com or email us at info at CoachBert.com to sign up for $4.99, two days with me. This will be a monster experience. Welcome back to Super Coach Show. I'm Coach Michael Burt. I hope that you going to monster up this Friday and Saturday. Join me in the Big Apple, New York City, because that's where a super coach is going to be, Sheraton, New York Times Square. That's where I'm going to be Friday, Saturday, even Sunday and Monday with the group of monster producers that are coming in to learn the monster framework. They're going to learn how to build monster networks, how to have a monster sales system, how to go out there and get monster exposure, how to build a monster enterprise this Friday, Saturday, in New York City, the Big Apple. Come on and spend time with me. Friday night, we're having dinner at Bobby Flay's Restaurant. Be happy for you to join us. We've got people from all over the country that are coming, and we want you there. Go to CoachBert.com, sign up, and come on and join me in New York City. If you're going to be in New York City, come on out with me this week and learn Monster Producer. And trust me, we will be talking about the one thing. Because to me, until you figure out this one thing, which is the topic of today's show, what's the one thing you could dominate in? Not two things, not three things, not four things. I know John Gordon's got a book called One Word. I know Gary Keller's got a book called The One Thing. Here's what I'm asking you today. If you were given a TED Talk and you were asked to talk on a stage that could be viewed by millions of people and they said, hey, you can only talk about the one thing that you are the world's expert in. What would that one thing be? I even expressed in the first segment how, how we're doing four or five things. 
We got we got School of Greatness for Kids. I hope you sign your kids up for June 8th through the 11th, online or in person. We have got an entrepreneur program called Monster Producer, where I coach 37 people right now all over the country. We got a manager programs called Good Coach, Bad Coach, Turn Your Managers into Coaches, and we got corporate membership. Oh, yeah, by the way, $49.95 in the month of April. That ain't no April Fool's joke. We got all kinds of stuff going on. So if you were counseling me, would you tell me to pick one thing? And if you ask me to pick the one thing, here's what I would tell you mine is. I believe everybody needs a coach in life. A good coach can change your life. A good coach will have conversations with you you don't want to have. They'll make you do some things you don't want to do. They'll help you become something you didn't think you could become, but you just don't need any coach. You need a super coach, which is a coach on crack, a coach on steroids, right? So let me give you a little bit of kryptonite I didn't get to in the first segment. Kryptonite number one, it's the one thing going to hold you back here, right? You don't see the value in honing out one talent So therefore, you diversify your talents. While this is not a problem, I thrive on versatility. I love being versatile. I don't know if you can become world class if you're majoring in six different subjects. Why do you think universities say, man, you got to have one subject that you major in. Everything else is secondary out there in the world. So one kryptonite holding us all back, even me back, is that I, you, maybe you don't see the value in honing out one thing, so you diversify. You're versatile. You can do a lot of things. And although this is good in a way, it's very bad in a way. So I want to talk to you about questions. If you're out there listening to me today, you say, man, that's me, coach. You're talking directly to me. I am a jack of all trades, master of none. I don't have that one core thing that I'm really good at. And because of that, I have never experienced a breakthrough in my life. I've never broken through. I got four big questions I want to ask you. And I'm going to show this to you in a diagram because I want you to understand the power of these questions. Okay. In this first question, in this first question, this is a big question I want well, I want to ask you. Okay. We've got phones ringing. We've got people calling in the Super Code Show. We ain't ready for it yet, right? I got I got four big questions. Number one, and this is the first question. At your core, right here, baby. At your core, what are you the most on fire for? One of my favorite songs is Soul on Fire, Third Day. Great, beautiful song. At your core, what are you on fire for? This is passion. Okay? This is passion. This can evolve, and it can change and evolve, but many times there is one big thing that tugs at your heart. For me, it's coaching, baby. For me, it's coaching. I'm so passionate about everybody needing a coach in life. I'm so passionate that you can't get to the next level on your own. I'm so passionate that you can't see the picture when you're inside the frame. I'm so passionate that you will you will contract, contract and retreat when you don't have somebody pushing you, like my trainer was pushing me this morning in the gym. So the first big question is this, at your core, right here, what are you most on fire for? Because this is passion. Passion is an irresistible belief for motive or action. I can't tell you how many people get up and go to work and ain't passionate about what they do. I can't tell you how many people that get up and get on a bus, they don't care. They don't care. Name one thing in your life that you've ever been great at that your heart wasn't involved in. Name one thing in your life that you've ever been great at that your heart was not involved in. Okay? So if I'm showing you the diagram, let's pull up the diagram and see what to look at. We're asking four big questions here. The first one is the on fire question. The passion question, man. What do you love? What could you do all day long? What would you drive two states over to speak to four people tomorrow morning for free? What would you study on the internet for 16 straight hours? What would you buy every book in the library about? What are you on fire for? A lot of people discount this. I don't discount it. Because to me, if you were given a TED Talk and you said, I don't even care about it, I don't think you can be great at it. The second question is based on where you are today. Today, here in April, what are you most talented at? This is the skill question. This is the skill question. With no skill, passion is not enough. You know, I'm thinking of some people right now. There's been some people I've coached throughout my life, man, they got a lot of passion. They are on fire. They come factory install with passion. But here's what I can't figure out. Why in the world would I pay them? What could they do for my company? What's the one thing? What's the big problem that they solve? 
Now, operate on this model. It's called ROPE, Return on Pain Eliminated. If money only changes hands when problems are solved, with your one thing, what problem are you solving? What is the skill set? And even the other day, I was on the phone with a 60-year-old, and he kept talking about all the things he wanted to do and could do. I finally said, Jack, I, I, here's what I can't figure out. What is your hard skill set? Not soft skill set. What is your hard skill set? set. So the first big question is the on fire question. Okay. We're trying to figure out if we only had 18 minutes. We're talking to people all across the country. This is what we should be implementing. This is our impact right here. What's the one big question? The on fire question is the passion question. The second question is the talent question. Question is, do you actually have any talent in this area? For all the people tell me they want to speak, they want to write books, they want to build a brand, here's the deal. They have all the passion in the world. Question is, do they have any skill in turning people on versus turning people off? Let me give you some kryptonite that's going to keep you from doing this one. Kryptonite number two is real simple to me. We've never had any courses in our life. We've never had any courses in our life and finding this one thing. I want you to think about this. We're taught our whole lives, diversify, diversify. I took classes in biology and psychology and anatomy and physiology, kinesiology. What am I doing with those things today? Nothing. You know what? Nothing. What if from the time I was born, what if from an early age, three, four, five years old, I only focused on my one thing? How good would I be at it if I was 38 years old today? How good would I be if for 30 straight years I focused on my one thing, just my one area of talent. Tiger Woods had a golf club in his hand at eight months old. Mozart played music at two years old. Bill Gates went to work with his dad. So did Warren Buffett at 11 years old. See, they've been focusing on their one thing for years and years and years. This is not something that's taught in school. It's one reason you need to be sending your kids to my school of greatness. We'll help them find that one thing. And here's the big question I want to ask you. What's that worth to you? What would it be worth to me if my daughter could find her one thing? and spend her whole lifetime honing that out. You're watching the Super Coach Show. When we come back in the next segment, I'm going to ask you the next two big questions. Today we're talking, if you had 18 minutes to just give you talk on something that's burning that engine, and you are the true talent master at in this area, you run the table in this area, what would your TED Talk be? You're watching Super Coach, and I'm Michael Burke. Hey guys, I'm Coach Michael Burt. So many people around the country want coaching, but they don't think they can afford it. I heard this over and over and over. So just for you, I've created an online corporate membership where you get access to over 80 workshops a year. And here's the best part, $99. Five workshops a month to seven workshops a month with me, the super coach, on everything you can imagine. Sales, leadership, marketing, branding, positioning, all of our best stuff and workshops that you can now get online for just 99 bucks. Go to CoachBert.com, sign up under memberships, and start getting some time with the Super Coach. I'll find a kryptonite in your life and help you play at another level. Hey guys, welcome back to Super Coach. I'm Coach Michael Burt. I've been watching that uh, HBO series on Newsroom. Man, I need a prompter, baby. What an exciting show, man. What a great show of where they bring the news to you every night, decide if it's a real story or not a real story. Here's the deal. Here's what I'm asking you today on Super Coach. Are you the real deal? Are you the real deal? Have you found the one thing that you can dominate? Because once you find the one thing, it needs to be attached to a problem that you can solve in the world. Money only changes hands when problems are solved. So does your one thing solve a problem? I know a lot of people, they got one thing, don't solve a problem, man. It don't solve a problem. Because it don't solve a problem, there's no transfer of money from one pocket to another pocket. You see, I was speaking yesterday in Greenville on my book, Person of Interest. It's on sale right now, 10 bucks on my website, coachbert.com. And we sold out of that book, and I said this concept. So I bet I had a line of people, 30, 40 deep, and they kept saying the same thing. Coach, you're solving a lot of problems today. You're solving a lot of problems. That's why we're buying your books. Great. Money only changes hands when problems are solved. If you were given 18 minutes to give a TED Talk, what would your TED Talk be on? So I've been asking some big questions to you for one reason. I got to get you some clarity. I got to get you some clarity 
as it relates to the one thing that you're an expert on. So I started in segment two with two big questions. One, at your core, what are you on fire for? Number two, based on where you are today, what are you most talented at? You can be passionate about something, but not be talented in it. You can be passionate about something, but not be talented in it. Everybody hear me on that? Because I meet a lot of passionate people that have no hard skills. It's not going to do you any good. I'm not going to call you. I may call you to talk on TED, to be esoterical, to be stand up here at 30,000 feet, to, to, uh, to sit out there and uh, postulate, to posit about what's important in the world, but I'm never going to hire you, man, because I can't figure out why I would hire you because you don't have a hard skill set. I got two more questions for you in this segment. Number one, number three, it's my third question. What burning questions do you want to answer in the world with your talent and your skill? So in essence, what I'm asking is where is there a gap in the world? Where is there a gap in the world that your talent and your fire can feel? This is conscience. This is conscience. You with me? Your conscience is the part of you that is tied to your spirit. It is the part of you that wants meaning and contribution and purpose. Think of a whole person that wants to do this. They want to live. They want to love. They want to learn. They want to leave a legacy. That's Stephen Covey right out of the book, baby. They want to live, love, learn, and leave a legacy. That's what whole people want to do. So the third question really has to do with your burning questions that you can solve. This is an internal gnawing on your conscience that said you need to be doing this. It's one reason we created our school of greatness. I don't know if we can make any money with it or not, but I don't care. I see little schools of greatness all over the country. I see us licensing school of greatness to people because it's the right concept at the right time. And instead of complaining about our education system, you know what we're doing? We're going to do something about it. We're going to jump in and offer a solution, a school for kids that teaches confidence and bounce back and how to sell and how to articulate and how to overcome objection and, and rejection in life. You ain't going to learn that in school. I went to college for nine years, and I never learned any of those things in school. I learned them from coaches. I learned them from mentors. I learned them from experiences. What's the one thing that's gnawing at you that you're supposed to be doing, that you're not doing with your talent and your skill? And here's the fourth and final question. How can you marry your talents, your skills, your needs in the world into one thing that you can do better than anybody else? When you find this and can market it to the world, the world will reward you in the form of love and money and recognition and referrals because you know what people will say? You are the world's best at that one thing. I like to tell people and joke, I can't cook, I can't fix a car. I'm geographically illiterate. There's a lot of things I can't do, but when it comes to coaching, that's one thing I've been blessed to do, and that's what I've do devoted my whole life to since I was 15 years old is coaching people. So the more I do this show today, the more clarity it's bringing to me. If you said you had to cut out every program you got, Coach, everything that you got except one thing, what would it be? It'd have to do with coaching. It'd have something to do with coaching. It could be coaching our monsters and monster producer. It could be good coach, bad coach. But it has to do with a basic belief. I believe everybody needs a coach in life. So my TED Talk would be around that, why we need a great coach in our lives. So my fourth question is how do you marry your talent and your skill and your internal drive with a gap or need in the world to solve a big problem. That's your one thing. Let me give you some kryptonite. It's going to keep you kryptonite number three. This is the one thing that's going to hold you back. You know a good coach will do that. You don't understand the difference between talents and attributes. You don't understand the difference between having a talent and having an attribute. Let me give an example. Talents are like these. I see opportunity where other people see nothing. Talent is I take complicated things and I make them real simple. Talent is where, uh, where I can turn trash into cash. Talent is where I can uh, connect to anybody, anywhere, anytime. Talent is where I can turn a dollar. I can, I can go out and create and manifest. Talent is when I can see something through to its logical conclusion. Attributes, I show up on time, I do a good job, I work hard, I got a few good skills. You don't understand the difference between having a talent and having an attribute. And because of this... You never fully hone out your birthday gifts. You know when you got those? You got them at birth, baby. You got them at birth. 
You're watching a Super Coach Show. We're going to put a bow around this. When I come back, today we're talking. If you had a TED Talk of 18 minutes, what would be the one thing you would talk about because you're a pure expert and that one thing is where you dominate? You're watching Super Coach. Search at Coach Michael Burt on Twitter and follow us. Hey guys, Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach. Come and spend two days with me and learn every trick, every strategy, every tool, every technique I use to become a person of interest. I've got my Person of Interest Mastery course coming May 13th and 14th outside of Nashville, Tennessee. Spend two days with me, dinner with me, time with our staff, and I'll teach you every strategy on how to become the celebrity in your space that dominates. You get license in the content to teach it for money. You get all of the content with the books, the QR books, and all the handouts and PowerPoints. Come spend two days with me. Person of Interest Mastery. You'll walk away and be the dominant player in your space. Welcome back to Super Coach. I'm Coach Michael Burt. Follow me at CoachBurt.com. If you want to spend two days with me, there's a couple opportunities. If you're serious about getting coaching and figuring out your one thing, trust me, you need a coach in your life. There's one opportunity coming up in May in Nashville, Tennessee, outside of Nashville, Person of Interest Mastery Academy, May 13th and 14th, $497, two days, dinner with me, time with the staff. We're going to have a great time, and I'm going to help you. I will teach you every strategy I have ever used to become a person of interest. Straight out of my book. It's been a very popular program. I did it yesterday in South Carolina. I'll be back in North Carolina next week. This week alone, I'm going to be in Atlanta, Georgia, teaching zebras and cheetahs, uh, the Ohio National Big Insurance Company there this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm going to be in New York City for my Monster Producer Summit. I can't wait. We're having dinner at Bobby Flay's Restaurant Friday night, eight hours of instruction, Friday from 1 to 4, Saturday, 8.30 to 11.30. Spend some time with the coach having a good time. Also, you can join me for this Person of Interest Mastery class that's coming up May 13th and 14th. you got all kinds of opportunities if you're hungry, humble, teachable. Today we're talking this, maybe one of the most important shows I've ever done. Last week while counseling a young man in our coaching program, he was bouncing around from idea to idea, had lots of ideas, and he's got all kinds of talent. Here's what he don't know. What vehicle can he use to share it with the world? I suspect this is a problem for millions of people in the world. So halfway through the conversation, I said this. If you had a TED Talk, somebody called you to give a TED Talk 18 minutes on the one thing that you're better at than anybody in the world, what would that one thing be? As soon as I wrote it down, I said, goodness, what would my TED Talk be? What would yours be? What would Grant Cardone's be? What would be the one thing? Look at Cardone. Would it be on sales? Would it be on 10X? Would it be on obsession? It's got a lot of things, man. I got a lot of things. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, there's usually only one thing you're better than everybody else. If you answer the four questions I asked you today, number one at your core, what are you burning for? What turns that engine? What cranks that motor up every morning? Number two, based on where are you today, what talents do you have that the world needs? Number three, okay, what burning questions do you answer in the world, i.e., why would I pay you? Where's the gap in the world? I did a show once called "There's a There's a um, Market in There's a Gap in the Market, but is there a market in the gap? You know what I was saying? Would anybody pay you? I know there's a little problem here, but would anybody pay you? And the fourth one is this: How do you take it and turn it into action? People come to me and say they want to write a book, and I say, "Great, start writing it." I started writing one on the way back from South Carolina last night on my iPad. Within four or five months, you give me a couple days here and there with no distractions and nobody around me and no pressure, I'll pump that book out. We'll bring it to market. I'll talk about it all over the country. We'll do shows on it. You know why it wasn't hard? You know what it took? Action. You know what great people do? You know why great people become great in their life? Because they decide to. They don't wait on external circumstances. Nothing in the world happens until somebody moves. An object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. They decided to. There's nothing keeping you off a TED stage other than you don't know what your one thing is. And if you did, you would start to dominate in the world. Let me give you some final kryptonite, then I'm going to get you out of here. Fourth and final kryptonite, this is the one thing holding you back. And if I was coaching you, this is what I'd coach you through. You know your talents, but you haven't figured out a way to sell them. You know your talents. You know your one thing. You know what burns the engine, what turns it over, what primes the pump. But what you ain't figured out how to do is how to market 
package and sell it. This is one of the hardest things in the world. So what happens is your concepts are dying a slow death. Very few people will ever hear them. They'll definitely never be on a TED stage because you know what? You can't get them out there to the world. Nobody knows about it. You got this thing called obscurity. And this is the biggest thing we fight every single day. If you were got a call this afternoon and the call came to you this afternoon and said you've been given the opportunity and asked to speak on a TED stage, TEDx, Technology Education Design, because you have honed yourself out as the expert in the world. What would your one thing be? You've been watching a super coach. You know what I believe? I believe everybody needs a good coach in life, a good coach to have conversations with you. You don't want to have. They'll make you do some things you don't want to do. But boy, a good coach will help you become something you didn't think you could become. I'm Coach Michael Burke. Go out there and become that one thing that dominates in the world. 2015 is the year of the monster. I'm talking about a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market. You see, I got a new coaching program and I'm looking for people who want to have a monster year. Once a month coaching program for three hours with other like-minded monsters in a structured environment with key measurable outcomes and lots of accountability. You see, the monster coaching program is coming and we've already got 22 monsters signed up Will you be in the class? Are you somewhere else in the country? No worries. We'll be live streaming this with workshops every month online. You can come into Murfreesboro, Tennessee, where our monsters will be every single month for three hours. We also have two, count them, two destination summits, one in New York City in April and one in Cabo St. Lucas in the fall and in a big celebration. If you're interested in being a monster, come on and join us. You get the Monster Producer Planner, you get the book, you get the app, and you get me coaching the heck out of you to be a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market in 2015. Go to monsterproducer.com.